It is Tuesday, September 4th, 2012, and we are at the Little Brown School, and this guy here will be moving to the estuarium, and he's being replaced this morning with a couple of white shrimp. And so, in a few minutes, once I've done the tank change, <clears throat> we'll be joining the kids and talking about the new animals that they have to observe. Good morning! It's September already. How about that? Say to Willis. Hopefully, it'll start getting a little bit cooler before long. So, okay. Now, who noticed Mr. Krabby isn't here anymore? We got some new critters. Now, I know you all like new words, right? Yeah. Here's two new words for you. And they're about your new critters. Um, and... Everybody say, Peneus... Cetiparus. 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 Yeah. Those are your new animals. Yeah. I'll bet some of you like to eat Peneus Cetiparus too. Well, how about if we call them white shrimp? Anybody like to eat shrimp? Okay, okay. Okay. Peneus. Peneus cetiferous is the scientific name. Excuse me. Catch a bubble, quick! Catch a bubble. Peneus cetiferus is the scientific name for a white shrimp, and white shrimp is one of the kinds of shrimp that we eat. And people are starting to catch the white shrimp now. Some of your dads or uncles, or brothers, or moms, and sisters, they might be going out and throwing a net to catch shrimp to be, bring home to eat. Yeah. 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 I, I think it's a big fish. And when they bring home some shrimp next time, look at the shrimp and say, oh, those are really nice, Peneus cetiferous. <laughs> I have a sister. They'll say, what? Okay. The shrimp, the shrimp that people, I'm going to tell you a little bit about the shrimp, okay? The shrimp that are being caught now were born this spring in the ocean. And they were so tiny, you almost can't even see them. You know sand? When you let sand go through your fingers, that's how tiny the baby shrimp are. And this spring, when they were only that long, do your fingers like this. When they were only that long, they moved from the ocean into the estuary. Well, this is how shrimp are long. That's because they grow. They grow, and like, like all animals, shrimp grow, and by this fall, by next spring, when they're ready to have babies, some of them will be that big. 
So, you've got two shrimp in your aquarium out here that you guys are going to be able to watch for a while. And sometimes, when you look in the tank, you're not going to see them. They're going to be hiding. And what you need to do is you look very closely at the sand. And if you look closely at the sand, you will see their eyes just above the sand. The shrimp is buried down in the sand, and all you can see are its eyes, and maybe its antenna coming back. Look at Timmy's racket. Now, your teachers over the next couple of weeks are going to be talking to you more about Peneus or your white shrimp. And for the time that you're they're here, you're going to learn a lot about them. All right? What are your new two words? Peneus Satiferous. So, enjoy, enjoy watching your new animals over the next few weeks, or a couple of weeks anyway, and the blue crab is coming to live at the estuarium. So if you want to visit him, bring your parents, come visit us at the estuarium, and you'll get to visit the blue crab that's been here with you. Okay, everybody? So, the pinniads are now in their new tank, and this is the larger of the two. I'm going to go ahead and drop a piece of fish down to it to feed on. The smaller one is at the other end of the tank, and in swimming mode right now. Let me see if I can find him. There he is. But it will pick up on the scent of the food in due time and come down here and join the other. There, the larger of the two just smelled the shrimp. I smelled the piece of fish that was put in for food and has it in its grasp. That's the other piece dropping down for the other shrimp when it's ready. When it can smell it and find it. So, nice morning here at the Little Brown School. I enjoyed it.